Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. This is yet another video for Angular Material series. This time we will work with the CDK platform. Before we start, please be sure to subscribe as we are closing in to 1000 subscribers. Thank you. So, for what we use this platform module? Well, one good example can be for mobile development. With this module, we can recognize the current platform and render the content with specific styling for that platform. This is because, well, in general, iOS styling is much different than Android styling. For web development, we can use this platform module to recognize the browser that we are currently on. By that, we can show different content, animation, layout, as not all browsers will support all styling options. Now that you know a bit about this platform, let's work with it. The first thing that I will do is create the component where I will use this platform. For that, I will generate my component with the command of ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components slash cdk slash platform. Now I can open my app.component.html file. In this file, I will first hide this component from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one. Right after it, I will use the comment of CDK platform. Then I can use my component that I just generated. And finally, the ending comment here, end of CDK platform. From here, we must go into our app.module.ts file. Here, I will make sure to import my platform module and I will import that from at angular slash cdk slash platform. Not platforms, but platform. I will also pass this platform module down in imports array. Now that we have everything in place, we can use this platform module. For that, I will go into components, then cdk, and I will open up this platform folder, and I will open up the platform.component.ts file. As I wish to use this module here, I must import the whole module here as well. So in the constructor of this file, I will create the public property of platform, and I will set the type of it to be platform as well. Just be sure to import this platform from at angular slash cdk slash platform. As I will try to recognize the platform that I'm currently on, I will create one more property right here. This property will be current platform and it will be the it will hold the type of string and initially it will just be the empty string. Now to check the currently active platform well which browser that we are currently using or if we are currently on an Android mobile phone or iOS well, for that, I will write the specific method. This method, I will just write it down below, will be check platform. And it will be a void method. And here we can write our logic. In here, we can write the simple if statement. So we can say that if this dot platform is Firefox, for example, which means that if the current browser that we are on well, if that browser is Mozilla Firefox. If that is true, I will set this current platform, so this that current platform, I will set it equal to Firefox. And as I wish to check for other platforms as well, I will just speed this video a bit. Now, from here, I will go into my platform.component.html file. In this file, I will create just one h1 element, and to this h1 element, I will property bind my, well, current platform. This means that on whichever platform we are currently on, we should see it on our screen. So you can see that this here is a simple check that we can, well, do for many different solutions as well. And as a final thing, I will open up my platform.component.css file and I will paste some styling here. 
before we do any test, I forgot one thing. I need to pass this check platform in my ngOnInit method. So whenever we will open up our local host, we should run this method. Now in my browser, I can see browser text. This is correct as we are currently on Chrome browser. If I would open up Mozilla Firefox now, I will see Firefox text. By this, you can see that we indeed are checking for the current platform, well, which is good. And it's just up to you now how you wish to use this module. But this will be all for this video. If you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I post new content weekly. Next to that, we are really close to 1000 subscribers. Thank you all once again and bye bye.